Welcome to Fluff Master Productions. I'm Fluff. You're wondering what we got going on today. We're not doing a dare. You're thinking to yourself, Fluff, why are you all dressed up like that? As you've seen in the last two videos, Morgan's been taking the losses. So, in this video, we're gonna be spoiling Morgan a little bit and giving you guys a general idea of something to cook on Thanksgiving coming up. Got me fluffed on the chef. I hope you guys like it. We're gonna be making some sirloin red chili. So I'm gonna get to cooking. We're gonna guide you guys through this as I go along. So here we go. What I like to do, I like to cut the potatoes down the middle so that way they're easier to boil. While the potatoes are boiling, I'm also gonna go ahead and put the dry red chili pods to boil. Pick these up at any Walmart. You gotta break off the tops and take out the seeds. I don't know what kind of seasoning you guys prefer. For me, it's these three. These are the key ingredients. This is what makes it work, so we're gonna go ahead and add it in while it's boiling. But be careful while they're boiling because these fumes can make you choke up a little bit, you know what I'm saying? The next thing we gotta do is chop up the sirloin. We gotta put the dry red chili pods into the blender. And you got yourself a mean red chili sauce. We're gonna go ahead and put the sirloin onto the pan to get that cooking now that we got the red chili made. Gotta salt up the meat for sure. Now that the sirloin's nice and cooked, you're gonna go ahead and add your red chili to the pan. That's about the consistency. If you want it thicker, you add more flour. If you want it lighter, you add a little bit more water. So this red chili sirloin is definitely finished. With the potatoes, you gotta let them boil until they get soft. You're gonna go ahead and add a half a stick of butter, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, milk. The more you add, the creamier it gets. Do taste tests in between to make sure you're not over salting it. See the consistency of what the milk does. So we're gonna go ahead and get to mashing. The mashed potatoes are done. A little taste test for the bud. Woo! That's some good stuff. Well, dinner's all cooked up. Time to serve the queen. Here we go. I hope you enjoyed this video, this little cooking tutorial with me, Fluff. We're gonna go ahead and get to eating, but don't forget to like and subscribe. We're gonna be letting out a Thanksgiving video coming soon, but I hope you take this into consideration for your Thanksgiving meal. Till next time, this is Fluff Master Productions. I don't know about you, I don't know about me.